Hi everyone, this is Helena and I'm talking with my friend Leah Lake again today. Leah is a feminine energy mentor, teacher, and guide who helps women shift their relationship with both men and money so they can attract the love and abundance they truly desire. And that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video today. We're gonna to be discussing how to speed up the manifestation process so you can quickly attract the man or the money that you want in your life, or both, right? So welcome, Leah. I'm very excited to dive into this topic today. Thank you, Helena. I am so excited. I, we haven't done this in a while, and yes, I, I just love doing these interviews with you. Yes, I have to say, we've been getting so many requests to bring you back on again, Leah. I see it in the comment sections of so many of my videos. Can you please do another video with Leah Lake on attracting men and money? And you know, this is actually my favorite thing in the world to talk about. So let's just jump right in. What would you say is the missing piece where, you know, a lot of women watching these videos are very intelligent, so smart, and have been doing this work for a while. And I know how frustrating it can be to be showing up and doing the work on yourself and learning everything you can, but you're still not getting maybe everything you want. Maybe some women out there are having success attracting some of what they want in terms of their relationship or um, their career or money and things like that. But what do you have or what would you say is like that missing piece that can take them from attracting some of what they want to all of what they want very quickly. Oh my gosh, yes. One of my absolute favorite things to talk about, and it is, it's, it's just so common to see really successful women working really hard, and they're, they're doing what they know how to do, and the missing piece is just, it's just a little bit more information, a few more tools, <laughs> um, but in, in not in this linear, like, I'm here, I want to get here, and this is the path. It, that is, it, that's the missing piece. There's a different path. Yes, and I know you've been talking a lot lately about this 5D manifestation process. A lot of people have been talking about that, you know, in this, in this uh, industry or field, but the way you talk about it, Leah, is in a way that I've really never heard before. And you know, I get very excited when I hear things in a way that I've never heard before. And Leah has this amazing talent to give you visualizations and tools to help some of these big concepts start clicking quickly, right? And so make sure to stay till the end of this video because Leah's gonna give you a very specific exercise you can do to start shifting things from maybe manifesting or thinking about things in this 3D linear process to this 5D process, so you can really start attracting the love and money you want very quickly. So um, what, what, where do you see women struggling with this? They're in this kind of uh, linear mindset, right? To me, that feels kind of like a masculine energy mindset or maybe even like a, a wounded energy mindset. I'd love to hear everything you have to say on that. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to be talking in some <laughs> with visualizations and metaphors and things like that. And so the first thing is really understanding uh, the wounded energies, which I, I put down here in this like box thing. It, so it's the wounded masculine and feminine. And then up here are the empowered masculine and feminine and understanding like the voices of each can help you understand like where you're at. And another way is to understand the feelings of the masculine, the wounded energies and the empowered energies. And okay, so there's that part, understanding the wounded and empowered. The other part is understanding that most people are living in an illusion, which is the third dimension. It seems real because it's all matter. It's, um, you know, like the physical stuff, <laughs> like what we see out in the world. To us, that is reality, but it's actually the, an illusion. And I know that's a really big concept. Yeah, absolutely. And we've talked about this a lot in some of our other videos together is that we as humans, we can be so uh, captivated by uh, what's already been manifested in our current reality, so to speak, right? We, we say we want uh, more love or more money and then we look around and what's going on in our environment right now and immediately we notice that it's not there, right? And so we're kind of resonating with the absence of it. And so I always say you have to get out ahead of it, right? You have to get ahead of this process to um, stop noticing what's happening right now and flowing your attention towards what you want. I'd love to hear like the way you think about this and talk about this. Yes, okay, so we have the, this wounded masculine and feminine. This is also the third dimension. 
And the reason why I'm putting those two together is because the overall essence is based in fear and lack and survival and moving um, slowly through time right so if we're here we think we and we want to be over here we have this like well i got to do this and this and this and this um <laughs> to get over here that's that is um and there's a lot of like well what if it doesn't happen or what if this man doesn't exist or um you know like this fear of i can't have what i want that's the base of the third dimension I was going to ask you, yeah, how does a woman know when she's in this kind of lower energy? What are some, and you just gave some great examples. Any other thoughts or feelings or, or things you hear from women that make it really obvious to you that, that she's coming from this kind of lower vibration place? Yes. Yeah, so it, it'll go, so I call this the tunnel of doom and gloom <laughs> because it's ba like it, what makes up the tunnel of gloom and doom are the feelings of frustration, anger, um, impatience, being triggered, feeling hopeless, feeling um, sad, and it's a, it's a consistent. Got it. Okay, so if a woman is, you know, worried whether or not a man likes her, feeling anxious about where she stands with him, um, coming from a place of lack in terms of money or career or just not feeling uh, supported by either uh, her man or by men or by the universe. She know, you know, you know, she's coming from this kind of lack, uh, lower vibration or, or radiating at a lower frequency. I don't know exactly how you like to say it. So, so how does she shift quickly rather than having to do a bunch of things to get from, from point A to point B, how does she shift and start attracting, uh, coming from this 5d place that you talk about? Yes. Okay, yes. Yeah. So just, um, I wanted to say a few more things about this tunnel of doom and gloom. So if you imagine that you're in this cement tunnel, you actually only have access to the thoughts and feelings that are that are an energetic match to those, you know, frustration, anger, and patience. And that's why it feels so real because it's, you don't have access to more. And if you imagine a, you know, a car accident in the tunnel, you will, your brain automatically goes like, how do I get out of the tunnel? And you don't have, like, you're just focused on getting from here to here. Okay, so once you have the awareness that being in this dream, <laughs> this illusion, which we just went over, like, you feel bad, you feel, it, you know, life feels hard, you don't have the relationship you want, it's the thought of leaving the relationship ran feels scary or the thought of attracting the right man feels like it may never happen. Okay. Soon as you become aware that, that, that just means you're in the tunnel, then that awareness, instead of going from here to here, you actually, that awareness allows you to unhook or unanchor from the unconscious pattern. Okay. It's so important. This unconscious pattern is what is keeping you stuck. The unconscious patterns are the what's keeping you from manifesting your highest level relationships. You are with men and money and in the quickest way possible. Got it. Okay. So the awareness itself. So if a woman can go, oh, I'm feeling uh, triggered or I'm feeling anxious or something about this doesn't feel good. It isn't in alignment with my true self or, or this larger part of myself that knows things are always working out for me or right. Or, or some of these thoughts that come to us when we're in a, a higher vibration or a better feeling place, the awareness in, in and of itself, you're saying can unhook a woman from this unconscious pattern and have her move quickly up to this next level. Do I have that right? Right. Yes. So just that awareness of like, oh, I'm in the tunnel allows, if you imagine a hole opening up at the top of the tunnel, she can start to move through it. So that's the fourth dimension, awareness and observation. And then she goes into the fifth dimension, which consists of the feelings of joy, love, abundance, fulfillment, ease, <laughs> um, all the feelings that make up the life that we want to live. And then she's an energetic match to that masculine energy man, to the clients that she wants, to the money that she wants, to the life that she wants. 
Got it. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any specific ways to shift? Because I know how difficult it can be when you're coming from a place of anxiety or lack or frustration to all of a sudden, like, think about being joyful and blissful and happy and appreciative. It can be, it seems like a big jump. I know you have a great tool about healing triggers. I don't know if this would be the right time to talk about it, but anything you have to say on like exactly how a woman can can quickly shift out of that place into this higher vibration place so she can start attracting what she wants. Yes. Okay. So the point here, the, the goal is to be, become aware of the dream that you're in the dream and to see how quickly you can shift into the higher vibrations rather. So that's the goal. That is the process. That is the missing link to manifesting quickly. Um, rather than like, I'm here and I got to get here and I got to do all these things. It is okay. I'm in the dream. I'm aware of it now. And now I can unhook from whatever trigger and I'm going to go over the healing trigger tool. I, I can unhook from it. And it's a, almost like a deep dive awareness that builds momentum to propel you into the fifth dimension. Got it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Yeah. I would love to go into the, the healing trigger tool. Oh my gosh. I've been getting so many requests for tools and more videos on exactly how to do that. So yeah. Anything you'd like to say on that? I'd love to hear it. Okay. So yes. So the healing triggers tool. Okay. Whenever we feel triggered, it is never true. Whatever thought that's causing that feeling is never true. Love it. Yes. I, when we talked, we were chatting real, briefly before we started recording this. When Leah said that, a light bulb went off. I've never heard anyone say that before. And I love these strong statements. And Leah, something I love about you and your work is you're so sure, like you're so certain about these things. When you're feeling triggered, the thoughts and maybe like old belief patterns that are going through your head are never true. I love that. And you also said something else about triggers that I really liked. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I'm sure you'll go into it, right? So just realizing that what's happening, the thoughts that are going through your head, maybe you're beating yourself up, right? Or you're blaming yourself. I love just thinking that, okay, that's not true. It's just an automatic, 100% um, of the time, no exceptions thing. I love that. And what, what would the next step be? Okay. Yes. Yes. So such a, so much freedom there and recognizing that, having that awareness. And then to, because it feels like a door when we're triggered, it feels like we're up against a door and there's no way out. And to recognize that actually something new wants to come through. And this is the difficult part to trust that, to trust more in the fact that something new wants to come through than the illusion of the feelings and the thoughts that are triggering you. That's the mastery. And so if you imagine a door, it's like the trigger is the door. I got it, you know, I, some, this is, it seems real. But if you can turn away from the door and look into space, it will, meaning trusting something new is coming through, you are open to receive. If you're focused on the door and what someone said, what a man's doing, what a man's not doing, the amount of money coming in or not coming in, there is nothing, there's no space for you to receive if you're focused on the illusion. That's what it was. Yes. Amazing. Something new wants to come through. So if you're feeling triggered, just realizing whatever you are like facing or thinking or whatever kind of thoughts that are going through your head that don't feel good are not true and something new wants to come through. And even just the awareness that something new wants to come through, I can really feel shifts you from this place where you're kind of like, I visualize it as kind of like um, trying to open a closed door or kind of banging your fist against a door that's not opening. Very frustrating and, and it just keeps you in that place where what you want can't come through because you're not in the receptive mode. You're not open to receiving it. So quickly turning, saying something new wants to come through, totally puts you in that receptive mode. And what happens next? Is that the end of it? Or, or is there like a next step to actually, uh, where a woman can start receiving or attracting what she wants? Okay, so then, yes, so good, exactly. Then she can become receptive. That doesn't mean you don't still feel the feelings that you're feeling. But the, the point what I was, trying uh, explaining before it's how quickly can you recover 
from the trigger? How quickly can you recover from the illusion that this seems more real than the idea that something new wants to come through, wants to come to you, and it's at the level that you desire? And it's that being willing to trust in that raises your frequency so that you can receive it. Yes, that make to me that makes perfect sense. And I just I love studying this stuff and, and diving deep into it. I would love if you have like maybe a concrete example or a couple different examples, because I know this is a huge concept. It might sound a little confusing for people hearing hearing these sort of things for the first time. Do you have an example of maybe um, how this has worked for you or one of your clients? Okay, so let's say so usually, you know, if you're triggered about something, let's say, say you know, you really like a guy, he's not calling you. Um, the typical response is to become anxious, wonder like why he's not calling you or feel bad because he's not calling you and go into spiral downward. As soon as you can catch yourself in the tunnel that you're spiral, like going down into those feelings and begin, oh, I'm in the tunnel or <laughs> I'm triggered. It's okay, something new wants to come through then it will shift your energy and either inspire him to call you, which happens all the time, or he'll fall away and to be able to trust in that. Yes, absolutely. That if you're open to receiving, if you're at this new place where you're kind of radiating these, these uh, either being in the receptive mode or feeling appreciation for something else, I, I, I believe it doesn't have to be appreciation for this specific man. It could be appreciation for anything in your life, right? It puts you in this different frequency where it's, it's like an empowered energy where either this man will step into his empowered energy. And if he's truly interested and truly capable of having a, a close, connected, consistent relationship, either he will step up or he will fall away because he can't stay in your, your energy field if you're vibrating at this new place, right? And, and that's what causes you to attract another man, a better man, or a man who's a better match for you, who's also in his empowered energy. I see it all the time, Leah. I don't know about you, but like women can think very small, especially if the man they want isn't contacting them. I hear from clients all the time who say, okay, what do I do? He's not contacting me. Um, do I, do I give myself a timeline to not contact him? And it's like, okay, you know, on some level, yes, that makes sense. But it's also just thinking so small. It's so focused on him and what he's doing or not doing. I see a lot of women, their vibration or their energy is just a reaction to what a man is doing or not doing. And this to me, it's like shifting everything. So it's like, you're going to vibrate at this high level, regardless of what a man is doing or not doing, or regardless of the results that are happening, like in your career right now, or your financial situation, or this really works in all areas, isn't it? So yeah, I can see how this zooms you out a little bit and gives you a bigger view to where you're gonna be at this level no matter what, and then the right people and the right opportunities are gonna come meet you there. It's, it's like an attraction process, not a thinking small and trying to like force your way through the tunnel, like you said, um, going out and trying to get what you want acquisition process. Very feminine energy place to come from. I hope that makes sense. That's what I got out of all of that, and, and I thought that was amazing. Yes, exactly. Um, so many yeah, ways to explain it. But I love your like what you took away from that. And that's so um, that is how it works. It's like all of a sudden, you get your power back, you raise your frequency to the fifth dimension where you become an energetic match. And it, it's you collapse time and space. Instead of being here and taking all the time and <laughs> struggle and effort to get over here, you become aware of your unconscious patterns, you shift them, and you collapse that time and space so that he can come in the um, quickest way possible. Amazing. That was so powerful. I can't wait to go back and watch you explain all of this again and rewatch this because I actually learned a lot just now. I am starting to think about these things in a whole nother way, which is why I love uh, talking with you, Leah, and making these videos with you. Any last words of wisdom you want to share before we close out? Just to, for every woman to remember that it's when she catches herself in the tunnel or she catches herself thinking about the future, that the, it's not about getting, you know, linear, going linear. It's about, okay, where am I? And her work is to collapse the time between becoming aware of when she's in the tunnel and to elevating her feelings. 
Got it. I love that. And for everyone watching, please let us know your thoughts and experiences with this down below in the comment section. We love hearing from you and any other videos you would like Leah and I to create around some of these topics. Cause like I said, these are huge concepts, but they're so important to understand. And Leah is a total expert at, you know, how to do this, how to quickly attract what it is you're looking, no matter where you're at right now. I always say where you're at right now is irrelevant, especially when you think about how quickly you can start shifting things and attracting what you want. So that's amazing. Leah, how can people find you and get a hold of you? I don't know if you're still offering a free gift on your website or any um, courses or programs you have going on right now. I would love to hear all about that. And I'll we'll include links down below in the, in the uh, description too. Okay. Yes. Yes. So I, um, my website is lealake.com. Um, there'll be a link below. And right now I have open enrollment for my eight week program. It's for attracting our highest level love. And we go more in depth into this and it's really about embodying your highest level frequency so that you can attract in it, not just the the man but the money and the life that you want that it is the foundation you can walk away and and have the quickest way to do that amazing and i actually have friends that have personally gone through your programs leah i don't know if you know this but they uh told their just huge fans of you and said that they got the most value out of your courses than any other course they've taken on manifesting and feminine energy and attracting what you want quickly. So everyone loves um, what Leah has to share. She talks about things in a whole different way that I don't hear a lot of people talking about, you know, especially these days. So that was amazing. Leah, thank you so much. For everyone watching, again, please let us know what you think or if you have a request for any more videos around these topics. We love hearing from you. Leah, thank you so much again, and I will talk with you soon.